So what is a midline, you may ask? Well, a midline will be defined for this video and at our facility as a peripherally, not a central, venous access device that is only inserted in the arms to obtain and maintain longer and more reliable access for intravenous treatment lasting less than 30 days. A midline does not mean that it will go to the midline anatomically. It is the middle ground between a normal peripheral line as shown here. Here you can see from left to right a systemic increase in size from a 24, 22, 20, an 18, a single lumen midline, a pick line, and then a dual lumen midline, and then finally a 16 gauge needle. The midlines at our facility are either a 10 centimeter 18 gauge midline or a 5 French dual lumen midline. There are variations in length and size, but we only use these two products at our facility. You can tell that the single lumen midline is an 18 gauge by the color. Note that both the 18 gauge needle and the 10 centimeter 18 gauge midline have green hubs. The dual lumen is a white line and is a 5 French, just like the pick line. Additionally, it's worth noting that if you are placing a 16 gauge needle, you are effectively placing a line larger than a central line. You may wonder how that is possible and the answer is the tip location. A central line will have its tip in the superior vena cava portion of the body as shown here. For the purposes of this video and our hospital policy, a midline goes in the arms but the tip does not cross the axillary vein into the subclavian vessel or does not pass the head of the humerus as shown here. Again, a common misconception is that midline is referring to anatomical position. This photo is demonstrating what midline means anatomically now. So if I were to say I was going to place a midline, then I'm talking about placing the vascular device. However, if I was to say I'm going to place a line at the midline, then I am actually saying I will place a central line. To clarify what peripheral means, we are talking about the arms and legs of the body. However, as stated previously, we do not place this line in the legs and only in the arms at our facility. So you may be asking now, what's the difference between a pick and a midline? The answer is where the end or tip of the line is located. The pick line's tip is located in the superior vena cava, making it a central line. A midline's tip does not cross past the shoulder and as such is not considered a central line but instead a peripheral line. It is extremely important to remember this as it will help you define lines in the future. So let's continue now to how to physically identify midlines now that we have a brief understanding of what a midline is. Here we have the actual physical single lumen 10 centimeter 18 gauge midline to look at that is used at our facility. You will note that it says it is 10 centimeters, therefore it couldn't possibly be a central line if inserted in the arm. The 7 milliliters per second max refers to this device being a power injectable device for radiological imaging. This particular device is a barred power glide. You can see that the tip of this particular midline has a purple color and that section represents reinforcement to allow for improved and maintained aspiration flow. Additionally, it prevents catheter collapse during aspiration. In this section of the video, you can see how a midline dressing should look. It should always be clean, dry, and intact. It should have a stat lock on it. There should either be a bile patch, Gardeva, or chlorhexidine gluconate gel patch on it. And you need to be sure to change it every seven days. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, consider liking the video. Leave us feedback in the form of a comment if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, or compliments. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to see more footage like this. Till next time, stay safe.